welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Colombian soup called ajiaco. Originally it has chicken, but we're not going to be using that. If you like my content, you can help me out by buying me a coffee. There's a link down below. So these are the basic ingredients. Um, but first of all, I want to um, I start by telling you what we need, which is huascas. Huascas is what will give the flavor to the uh, this soup. And in Argentina, I didn't, never knew what it was. We never had it, but I, you know, found out about them when I met my husband. Or you can use this seasoning mix, which it already has. It doesn't have chicken, but it has the uh, the flavor for the huascas. You can get this at the Latino stores. And first things first, I start with the rice. So by the time I finish my soup, the rice is made. Because if you eat it by like by itself, it's kind of not so good. So we're gonna chop uh, one big onion. Originally, this um, it doesn't have purple onion, but this is all I had, so I'm gonna be using um, the onion and this onion. But you can use the white one as well, it's fine. So we chop the veggies big pieces because then we're gonna blend it, so it doesn't really matter how big they are. And we're gonna use cilantro, just like this, we're gonna use uh, that the same thing, but twice, one for cooking and one for the end. So we're gonna start by frying some, um, sauteing actually, uh, some veggies with, this is like two tablespoons of oil and then I'm, add, I'm adding my mix, my spice mix, it, the link is down, uh, not the link, the <laughs> recipe is down below. And we're just gonna, you know, saute the onions and the garlic, that's it. So we get, you know, like a really, really good flavor. And once we have that, we're gonna add the carrots, the cilantro, and I forgot to record the potatoes. <laughs> so I'm using five medium potatoes, uh, just like that. They don't have to be like super small, preferably not super small, because then uh, they all crash and then you don't have, you have no potatoes <laughs> to eat. And we're gonna be adding around six to eight cups of water and some salt, I, here I add one teaspoon and then you'll see how I add more as I keep cooking and we're gonna cover this and cook but first we have to add half a tablespoon of the huascas the huascas will give it that traditional flavor and uh, and then we once it boils we're gonna add some lentils I pre-wash these the orange lentils and uh, the actual soup doesn't have this, but I do it so to get you know to get more more nutritious soup. And we're at, oh, we're on a, we're gonna add another half a tablespoon of the huascas. Once we um, add that, we're gonna try it and see if it needs salt or anything, and it did. And so we just mix it. And the only thing we have to wait here is for the potatoes and. Um, carrots to cook because the lentils cook re really really easy so um, the potatoes and the carrots are the ones that take the most time to cook here this soup doesn't take more than half an hour I, I swear like it's super easy super simple and now we're gonna go uh, and uh, we're gonna blend most of the veggies actually all the veggies except for all the potatoes um, the idea is to make kind of like a cream consistency and this soup has a uh, chicken, but of course we're not gonna be using chicken and I'll show you what to do. Once we have most of, uh, see the potatoes there? They're not, uh, not, they're not all the potatoes in the blender. We're gonna add some broth and um, the idea, as I say, has to, we have to create like a, like a cream, you know, like a, it has to be like a really thick soup and you'll see it now. And originally this soup has uh, corn on the cob, but uh, I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have that, I have frozen corn. So one cup will be fine of frozen corn and it's still delicious, corn is corn and it's always good. And up there, there's a recipe for the chicken that I'm gonna be using right now. I left, listed a, a link up there for you to make this chicken. And we're gonna add the little bit of cilantro that I have uh, pre-chopped. Oh, I, I added uh, a little bit of vinegar just to give it a more flavorful, you know, 
something. It's delicious. This soup, uh, after we add the corn, we let it sit for a few minutes and that's it. It's done. Like It's so delicious. Everybody loves this soup. Like This is the most delicious soup and of course, Colombian. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please leave me thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.